I recently purchased an iPolar Celestial Alignment tool for my HEQ5 Pro mount, and it was time to recollimate the Schmidt Cassegrain telescope here in my observatory. And so once I took it off the mount, I was wondering if I could fabricate some kind of an adapter to use the iPolar on my Schmidt Cassegrain wedge to more finely align my permanent pier telescope with the celestial pole. And so I'd like to show you folks what I came up with. It actually worked really well. Well, welcome to Pleasant Valley Observatory in my backyard in Bountiful, Utah in the USA. And as I mentioned, here's my telescope, my Mead LX200. I've taken it off of the permanent uh, pier here to re-collimate the optical train on my optical bench. It's just a little bit out. Uh, that happens to every reflecting telescope that has adjustable mirrors. So I'm going to go ahead and finally align that on my optical bench with my lasers. But while I had it off, as I mentioned, I was wondering if I could adapt my iPolar finder that I bought for my HEQ5 Pro to the Mead wedge here and use that camera to go ahead and get a more uh, accurate polar alignment. Actually, to check the polar alignment I already have, that would be kind of interesting to see how close I have it already. So uh, let me get up on the platform and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, you can see the uh, adapter that I've made. Uh, mounted on the wedge plate of the schmidt cassegrain telescope. And what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and take it off so that I can show you what I did. Let me go ahead and I've actually got it still, it's still hooked up to the computer from having done the, uh, the alignment last night. So let me go ahead and disconnect the iPolar USB. And then I can pull this adapter out and show you. Basically, what I did is I got a piece of 2x4, and on my drill press, um, I, I drilled a number of holes here that were all in alignment, obviously, to keep it on the axis. But I procured a bolt the same size as the bolt that attaches the telescope to the mount, and I cut it off and smoothed it out. And then you can see that I have used electrical tape to get a, a very, very nice interference fit with that uh, hole in the, uh, in the mount. So it's, it's, it's nice and tight, and so it remains its, uh, its accuracy as you, as you turn it. And then when I set up the software, it, it connects the camera, and then it asks you to you know, orient the orient the telescope as it were if this were attached to my equatorial mount I'd be turning the RA axis and it would orient the camera in different positions and then the internal software plate solves with its patterns of the stars in the north celestial pole area and it tells you where your mount is currently pointed and then it shows you where the celestial pole actually is and then basically you use your telescope controls your you know, your azimuth and your uh, altitude controls on your mount to adjust it perfectly. Now, this worked out really, really good for me because I was able to just, uh, you know, turn this when it said position one, position two, position three, and it, it worked really, really well. I was actually very surprised with it. And I guess um, another thing that I'm kind of pleasantly surprised is that my mount was actually only a little tiny bit off the, the north celestial pole. So all that tedium that I went to a little bit earlier really paid off. One cautionary note for those of you who would uh, you know, use this on a schmidt cassegrain uh, wedge on a permanent pier. As you tighten down the works to the permanent pier, the alignment goes out here and goes out there a little bit and you have to continually kind of bring it back. So it's a tedious process and it takes some time, but the iPolar really, really helped me get a, a very accurate uh, alignment with the North Celestial Pole. So if you have any questions on, on how I built my little adapter here, 
with basically just a piece of two by four, some epoxy resin, and uh, a drill press uh, and some electrical tape. Uh, go ahead and contact me and I'll be happy to talk to you more about how I did that. I did want to mention one other thing. Once, uh, once I get my telescope here recolimated and I mount it back up here on my plate, I'm going to attach the eye polar to the little adapter I have and uh, place it on the dovetail that rides on top of the telescope and repeat this alignment procedure with all of the weight of my accessories and everything on there because the, the weight factor could change the you know perfect alignment that I currently have a little bit. And so I will go ahead and fine tune that. But I do know right now that it is perfectly polar aligned uh, as it sits here. So it is important to make that note.